at the hackathon 2019 ladies and gentlemen and let me tell you it's all about climate change it's all about working on that software or that app now we have some special invited guests we have sony in the building we have minesto and we have uh johan erickson from sony yes i know i said the same thing and also we have dr martin edlone from minesto i got it right good yeah. morning guys welcome to antica barbuda thank you very much <laughs> all right so let's start with you dr martin um you're here let's talk about your company just a bit so folks in antica can understand your purpose of being here for that day yeah. 2019. Uh, we're an ocean energy company from from sweden and from the uk and there is a fantastic resource of energy in, in the oceans here in the East Caribbean. So we're here uh, invited by uh, UNOPS and, uh, and the government of Antigua to do feasibility studies, to really, really see what opportunities there are here locally to exploit this, this resource. All right, and that they had 2019. It's made up of different teams doing what they got to do to work on climate change and the software and the apps yeah. and everything. And that, what exactly sparked your interest to be at Dadley Hack today? It's, it's really that the local context around what we do is, is so favorable, uh, that we're invited by, by UN and invited by, by the government here to come here and, and work with this. Uh, and also because the region is, uh, is, is really the perfect region for ocean energy resources. What we do is underwater, so you don't see it. You can imagine filling this beautiful island with, uh, with windmills or something like that. That will not go well with, with tourism. Mm -hmm. But what we do is underwater. Underwater. Yeah. Oh, all right. So, um, Erickson, Mr. Erickson, sir. Yes. Um, Sony, what sparked your interest of being a part of this? So, like uh, Minesto, we were invited by UNOPS and uh, the government of Antigua to, to participate and, and uh, contribute in uh, the ways that we can define ourselves. And uh, it's really interesting and a pleasure to be here because. We have been working with innovation um, internally in the company, of course, for a long time. Innovation is at the heart of Sony. And um, uh, in Sweden, in Lund, where uh, we are based, there is going to be a Swedish innovation center uh, as well, established by UNOPS. So I'm on the advisory group for this. And this is a good learning opportunity to come here and see how do you actually do this uh, in, in this context and set up and what would that mean from Sweden and what kind of synergies are there actually when we start having these types of centers and the hackathon is a great opportunity to uh, try out. Uh, everybody couldn't come here of course mm -hmm. from Sony but there's a team in Sweden working right now uh, at a distance uh, generating ideas based on this theme as a hackathon and and uh, we will see some interaction during these days going forward. Now, somebody's watching, everybody's watching right now, and they're saying Sony and Minesto is here, and uh, it's all about climate change and doing everything here in the Caribbean. You know, we deal with the hurricanes and all that and different weather patterns. But Sony, folks are saying Sony is all about phones and everything. How can that phone company, that brand, <laughs> be so interested in climate change? How can how the two merge together with that the hackathon? You know? I mean, how we do we explain that to them? Okay, so it's, um, it's not an obvious question, I think, but there are two, three things which really contribute to this. And one is the fact that Sony, being a Japanese company, of course, uh, has uh, experience of uh, natural disasters and an understanding, a genuine understanding, I would say, about uh, the impacts of climate change uh, from the, what the ocean is, is uh, uh, subjecting us to. And, but there's also a lot more to Sony than, than just uh, mobile phones uh, what, that we work with in Sweden. Uh, the connectivity, which is a, a critical infrastructure, is one of the core things. Uh, so it's not only entertainment. You may have seen a, a movie or, or listened to music, but uh, Sony is also about uh, um, connecting these things and, and the energy consumption. So before we state exactly what we do, we have this great opportunity to listen in and how could Sony contribute? And that's what I will be taking back with me as well matching up uh, with the people here who may have the needs. And also Sony's big in broadcasting, so it's, uh, there are many different types. Oh, that's good and that's beautiful. And that, that, that also will spark interest here in Antigua Barbuda. So Dr. Edlon, no, Minesto. Minesto, uh, tell us about some of the projects you've been working on uh, for the past couple of years leading up to 2019. Uh, yeah, we, we're working with another uh, island 
the Faroe Islands. The climate there is the opposite of the climate here. Oh, uh, but the <laughs> situation is very similar. Okay. Uh, it's an island that, that needs security of supply when it comes to electricity. Uh, they have really good ocean currents uh, in the waters. Uh, so uh, that's one. We're working in the UK, in Wales, and we're also working uh, on a project in Taiwan. So those are the three, three first areas where we, where we collaborate with universities, local, uh, the government, and, and, and companies. So it's very much about um, doing analysis and research and, and build the infrastructure locally. So you always need local partnerships, local uh, employees, and, and, uh, and to build it from there. All right, so when you guys travel and find that one spark, that one reason to continue with the innovation and the change in climate change around the world, when you find that one, one work, that one piece of software, what's the next step? Oh, no, well, I think I would like to turn it around, actually. It's not that one. It is actually continuous engagement. Mm. Because with the continuous engagement and the type of, of evolve, evolution of different types of ideas, you, you can create wonderful combinations uh, that together will find new types of collaborations and, and partnerships uh, where, it, as if you work alone, it, it's not probably not going to happen. So I think uh, that's uh, the great thing with the team in Sweden working at a distance. I think we will see some uh, really interesting ideas. Some of them are wild and may not be able to be implemented yeah. for a while <laughs> because the technology <laughs> may not be there. But then there may be these, as you say, small things that actually already exist and they can be implemented today. And we'll see. That's the great uh, exploration of this weekend, I think. Well, do have a good time starting today. I know you're going to find that spark of interest. I know the networking is going to be important oh, yes. and meeting the locals and really understanding why the ideas and why um, the UN, UNOPS brought you all here. Mm. I mean, nice meeting you guys. Do enjoy the Dandy Hackathon 2019 is his first time and do enjoy my island. Thank you very much. Thank you very All much. right, I've been speaking to Dr. Martin Edlon and uh, Johan Erickson, one from Sony Erickson, one from Minesto, and they're here for Daddy Hack 2019, guys. It starts today. So after this weekend, we're going to hear some great ideas when it comes to climate change around the world, especially in our neck of the woods in Antigua, Barbuda, and the rest of the region. Antigua, Barbuda today, folks. We'll be right back.